This is a bottle full of free water from a company called Free Water. It's not the most original name in the world, but what they're trying to do is pretty original. What's wrong with it? Nothing, it's natural spring water. He has you not pay for everything. Dads pay for everything. For everything. You guys better be careful, Nestle will come after you. Free Water is the world's first free beverage company. Right now, they're just giving out water, but they're hoping to start giving away more and more free stuff. Now, now you have my attention. We aim to be the whole foods of free products. By giving away free water, they think they can solve problems all over the world. Why do this? Right now, the marginal cost of many goods has gotten so low that it might be more profitable to give them away. Back free water? Free and negatively priced products enable new ways to manufacture and distribute that cuts right to the consumer. Thanks for the free water. Could free water be the start of a new kind of economy where many of the things we need are just free? You're going to see this happen with every major consumer product in the world. Tastes like freedom. Uh, at least free water. I suppose we're going to find out. This is Hard Reset, a series about rebuilding our world from scratch. This is Josh, founder of Free Water. Usually he looks like this, a normal human. But sometimes he looks like this, an anthropomorphic water droplet. It is not cold inside that suit, in case you were wondering. Josh's company gives away water for free. And for each bottle they give away, they give 10 cents to build wells in developing countries. That means they're not just free, they're actually negatively priced. I look at free water as more of a multi-layered hack than a business model. Today, it's an advertising-based model. The ads on the packaging pay for everything. This certainly isn't the first time someone has given away a product for free. There's radio or broadcast TV or practically everything on the internet, including this video you're watching right now. It's the same idea. You get a product or service for free in exchange for viewing ads. Josh is just bringing this model to new products and in new places. There is a definite cost to end global famine, the global water crisis. And the way I look at it is, if you took a little bit from all the major companies and threw it in the middle, you would have enough to cover it. So we wanted to create an out-of-the-box solution that got the Coca-Colas or the Nestles or the Apples to throw the money in the middle. Just like with Apple, when they launched the first iPhone, a year and a half later, every phone had a flat screen. And so you'll see that tipping point when people get it and you're gonna see TVs, cars, computers, laptops, clothing, big pharma, oil, gas, electricity, everything will go free in that way just because it can. So our goal is to be the catalyst in this negative zone. We want someone to try to say, you know what, we're gonna be more negatively priced than you because what are they competing at? Um, who could donate more money to charity or take best care of the consumer? This is Tom. When I'm with my wife, I always introduce myself as her Uber driver. <laughs> He's a super nice guy, and he also works at Freewater. People are reluctant to accept something for free because there's so many questions going on in their mind about, did you do something to it? Why are you giving this to me? People have difficulties being on the receiving end. And most people are thinking nothing's free. There's, there's something attached to it. If one person or two people take it, the people that are following them follow the lead. And so if a couple people back away and seem a little suspicious, other people follow that lead. Right now, all of this free activity is ad supported. And frankly, you might find that a little bit gross, but so does Josh. I hate ads. I hate the advertising industry. I really don't like what it stands for personally. So we're transforming and molding the industry into something that we believe is a much better version of itself. It might seem strange to get lots of products for free just because they're basically miniature billboards. But what's also strange is that we're perfectly fine with paying for goods that turn us into little miniature billboards. So the real question for now isn't whether you can make a profit from giving stuff away, but whether or not anyone wants to take it. I came down to Austin, Texas, where the temperature is 300 degrees to see if I could help give away free water. So what's the uh, what's the secret to giving away water? Uh, ask as many people as you can, yeah. and don't don't get upset after okay. you get rejected a hundred times. Well, no one's more used to rejection than me, so we should be all good. This is Jacob and Albert. They're on the front lines of the free water revolution. 
Do you mind if I take a stab at this? You like free water? <laughs> Sir, would you like some free water? Y'all want some free water? Y'all want some free water? No? It's got, got water. Free water? It's good for the dogs. It was shockingly hard to give away water, even in a place where it's hot enough to bake bread outside. I haven't had to put any ice in my pants yet. It's gonna happen. Free water? But this isn't surprising. Gotta stay hydrated. No. <laughs> no. Americans tend to be dubious about free stuff, as shown in this documentary series, Parks and Rec. Would you like to sample our vegan bacon? 100% meatless. I want one. The thing I saw was that there was a social dynamic at play. If there was no one at the table getting a bottle of water, it was hard to get other people to stop and listen, no matter how loudly I yelled at them to hydrate. You like free water? Y'all want some free water? Free water? Free water bottle? It's free, stay hydrated. It's a good day for it, so you gotta stay hydrated. Thank you, though. Between yelling at random strangers and constantly shoving bottles of free water up Drippy's underhole, Bottom hole? I don't know. It's really hard to convince people that this isn't some sort of a scam. Do you ever get people who just kind of like go on a loop? She keep yeah, grabbing every more now and then. every once in a while? Or like Some people pass by three or four times. Yeah. Sir, would you like free water? Do you know why it's free? Tell me about it. It's money laundering. This is free. Correct. It's always free. It never costs money. You're not going to charge you when I walk away? No. Nope. Okay. Doc, take another one if you want. <laughs> okay. Take six. All right, I'll take one for my dog. But one thing I noticed is that Tom was 100% right. If there were people at the table, then more people would get curious and come join them. I guess check it out. What is it? It's just free water. Sweet. It's all ad supported, free water. Have a good one. This Absolutely. makes sense because we're a super social species. Thank you. You bet. That is the like most water. enormous person I've seen in a long time. That guy so, could fold an average human. So what will it mean when it's more socially acceptable to consume free goods? Right now, free water is just giving away water. But they have plans for other essential goods, like beer. They're also working on a free vending machine. And eventually, they want to have whole free grocery stores. There's no doubt that free water is a cause. We operate as a business to achieve the bottom line. The water is just a vehicle to get there. So picture a scenario where more and more of the essentials we might need are available for free. Ad-supported goods could make it easier for people at the margins to survive. We expect the free vending machine to be here soon and for people to be able to walk up with their smart device and tap it like they would their credit card and get a free beverage or get a free snack. You'll see individualized content going direct to the consumer. It'll be fully individualized on the packaging, augmented reality, mixed reality, and more. The hard reset for us is getting people to think about how there are some resources within the world that we should not monetize. And when we start that process with water, we open up the opportunity to think about other things that can be available to every person on the planet and can also support a business at the same time. The idea that we didn't need to worry about how we might afford those items could help us shift out of a scarcity mindset. The standard vending machine holds 350 beverages. If it was emptied once a day, 365 days a year, that'll donate $10,000 to charity. We want it to be emptied 10 times a day. I think that when these things become available, some people will enjoy new types of freedoms. On the dark side, hey, if robots take all the jobs, people are gonna need these things for free anyways. It's a social experiment, how to corral everything that we call society today and just try to get everybody to work together instead of against one another for common goals. Yeah, he's trying to get at least 100 bottles into people's mouths because otherwise we won't let him out of that costume and he's gonna die of heat exhaustion, it so it's yeah, not. You need to get him a water bottle. Huh? No, 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 he has to earn that. <laughs>